Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is Pepe. Welcome to the fifth war of season 21. And Kenobi is facing Apoko, Legends of Apoko. <laughs> and this, this alliance is currently at second place. Um, they have got some knots up uh, on this season, just like us. And yeah, they they had a chance to get first place uh, because they are facing us right now. So we were like, mm, do you think Apoko gonna push this war or not? Anyway, we started big, we boosted. And yeah, uh, on section one, I had uh, to fight this human torch on lane one. And uh, this war, I brought Doom, Magic and Quake, okay? Quake, I had a lot of fight, a lot of fights for her. So on the very first fight, I used her, and it wasn't a big problem. To be honest, I'm really used to use Quake, so there is no problem uh, about quaking, full quaking a champ. Okay. On this next fight, uh, however, it was a bit different. You're gonna see why, because uh, the way I was fighting uh, since uh, the champion is a, an a stubborn champ, uh, I have to fight her, him uh, a bit different than usual. Like, I don't have, I don't need to fully bait against him, because if I do, he's going to activate the indestructible buff from the stubborn global, okay? So the way I was fighting him, since this node also has Masochins, uh, if I parry him and the debuff isn't active, uh, then he's going to turn off the uh, the parry debuff and he's gonna heal back okay so i have to be very careful when doing this because since he's going to be in immune to this he's not going to be a stun so he can attack me okay so i was paying attention i was really focused when fighting him and it wasn't a problem to be honest uh, he's almost dead and yeah that's that's why i told you the way i fought this champion on this note was way different than the first fight uh, I had versus this human torch. Okay, and and right now I was waiting my friends, my friend Blitz, to take care of that note uh, where was a Thanos. It's a really rare champ, <laughs> and yeah, I I had to fight a magic and back to the first fight like uh the way i was fighting i was just quaking full quaking fully bait like uh, dexterity uh, evade dexterity evade and cherish my earthquakes on her so uh my damage will jump okay so when concussion activates the damage i will do it's depending the earthquakes i put on the enemy ta? okay so um it was a really easy fight. I'm really used to kill magic. She's an old cham. She's not a stubborn. So there, there was no problem uh, on quaking her. Okay. Uh, on the next fight, uh, I was like, mm, should I use my three minute boost, like the one bar, uh, one bar special boost? I was like, mm, if I use it, it, it's going to be a really easy fight. Uh, but I but I was like, okay, I don't think I I need to activate it because the war was basically over at this point. Uh, Apoc uh, had died like six times at this time. So I was like, okay, Pepe, let's gonna save boost uh, at least the three minutes boost on this war. The, it's, it's not a big deal, to be honest. Uh, the way I have to fight is just to start a bit passive at the start so I can build my power and once I get my special two it's basically over this this node I can parry him so I don't have to intercept and risky the fight because you know every time you do an intercept it's always like um 50 50 there's a way that the enemy is going to be passive and he won't attack you and he gonna parry you and kill you, okay? So uh, since it wasn't a, a stone immune note, uh, I, I I just parried him uh, like, uh, okay, it's going to be easy. And yeah, it, it was <laughs> an easy fight. Um, 
uh, on the section two, I had to fight this sentinel on mini boss node, I believe. Uh, this node, uh, every time you activate a buff above, uh, he's going to gain uh, a charge. Uh, that gray charge you see on uh, down his HP. Uh, it's a it's a debuff uh, he puts on you every time he uses a special. Okay, he converts it to uh, shock damage on you. Uh, shock passive damage so I have to be very careful on him not gaining power so since I'm using Quake it's gonna be really really easy I just have to be very careful on not uh, activate the indestructible on him when my concussion activates okay so it was a really really easy fight I just have to take care of it and it wasn't a big deal uh, he ended up dying by the damage uh, by heavy damage from quake and yeah it was easy again and on section two i had to do lane one uh, this first node is bigger um, every 20 seconds i believe if the enemy hasn't lost like 20 25 percent of his hp uh, he's going to activate a regeneration okay I think it's to, it's 15 seconds or 20 seconds. Anyway, uh, if you if you deal more than 25% uh, before the region activates, it resets. Okay, so uh, magic. Uh, I was a bit boosted, light boosted to be honest, uh, and a special two from magic does a lot of damage. Okay, and she also steals power back and it's basically the way to fight magic is sp2 back to back back to back and repeat the process uh, leave the enemy on his corner and yeah it was really really easy that symbiote supreme i didn't have any problem and on this fight i don't really recommend to use quake however if you really know how to full evade quake you won't have any problem versus this uh, type of champions okay because um this type of champions especially this uh spider-man uh, he's he's a bit sketchy if you don't know how to bait his doubly medium attack okay and not only that because he has a doubly doubly medium attack like at the very start of his combo his do his medium attack is a doubly hit combo then uh, you have to be very careful at the start and in the end because in the end he also has a um, doubly medium attack and sometimes he does like you you saw over there uh, like medium and medium so it's four hits and you have to be very careful if you want to uh, full quake him because sometimes you can get clipped but it's all about timing it's all about being a bit more uh, slow on your evades and you're gonna be fine okay and on this fight uh, I, 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 I should have uh, changed my masteries because uh, Doctor Doom is not a suicide friendly champion okay since you have to do multiple multiple times uh, specials like a special one a special two and you you have to cycle it it's it's a it's a fight that you don't want to use suicides on him because you will end up dying by recoil okay so on this fight um, i it was a really bad fight overall because as you saw i got parried i missed my timing and i got <laughs> i got parried and he hit me but i didn't lose a lot of health a lot of hp um yeah uh, this fight you have to be very careful because it's a uh, it's rage mini boss node so uh, your damage is capped is limit and you have you 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 can do a lot of damage and as you can see he had his special tree but i was lucky that he didn't throw it okay i was lucky like oh my god it was so close <laughs> uh, i was able to get my sp3 again I used it. Um, after that, you're gonna see that I was unlucky too at the end of the fight because when I had the opening to use my special two, I was like tapping, tapping the screen, like 
like crazy, but it was it wasn't fast enough and he used his special tree. But at the start of the fight I activate a, a boost, the a 33% uh, resistance from specials, uh, like a special three. And that's why the special three from Arcus didn't make a lot of damage from him from me. So it was like just 23% uh, damage from his special three and it wasn't enough to kill me. I was lucky that I activate that uh, boost. That's why I, when I see that boost on the store, I always buy it because it's, it's really that, that boost really saved your ass. <laughs> like, yeah. And on the, on the next fight, um, I had to fight this Tigra, um, I didn't activate any three minute boost as I said because the war was really really won at this point. Uh, we were rushing uh, on BG1 because there were three people uh, that was going to be really bo really busy uh, on on this on this war. So we were trying to finish as soon as possible, and that's why like I finished my lanes in eight nine hours uh, since the war start so it was a really really fast war for me and yeah this tigra uh, the strat here was like once i get my spe special two it's over uh, since you cannot use two special twos back to back because he's going to put a debuff on you but if you use a heavy attack before the debuff is finished you're, you're not going to lose 50% HP from you okay so uh, that happened uh, and it was really really easy I didn't have any problem and from this uh, for this last fight I had was a uh, Sorcerer Supreme um, I just did the same like Tigra uh, once I get my SP2 with magic it's all over to for, for her because you just have to uh, leave the enemy into his corner and basically just do a special two, a special two, a special two and yeah it's it's all about uh, make, 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 him, make the enemy stays on his corner and just intercept okay but on these notes uh, the enemies uh, were not uh, stone immune so it's way way easier to do it because I was just going to back I, I was backing off a bit and then wait wait the enemy to go with to me and parry him. And yeah, it was it was a fast war, an easy war for me too. I didn't die. I did a lot of fights this war, not like the two last wars I had, <laughs> which I just did like four or five fights. And on this war, I, I had nine fights, I believe, or ten, I, I, I can remember. And yeah, um, we ended up winning this war, guys. Uh, we beat uh, Apoco, Legends of Apoco, Apoc. <laughs> we, we beat them, and, and yeah, it, it was a, a really nice war. And guys, if you like the video, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And We'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.